Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, I am so excited about what we're going to share with you today and I just want you to get an understanding. There is no sugar coating. Listen, it gets real. Life gets real. It gets real and uh, if you have not noticed... Uh, life will pass you by but I want to encourage you I want you to uh, have faith and faith is also hope and but in order to have faith then you must have faith in something we must hope in something I am here to give you encouragement words of inspiration to help you in your life's journey I am a ordained pastor. I am a life coach. I am a motivational speaker. And I mentor. And I enjoy coming and, and spending time here via our radio broadcast as well as visiting here on the Wisdom app just to give you words of encouragement. We are midweek. We are over mid-year we are in the month of July and already I am feeling like I'm running out of time because I have some things due for August so there is no time to waste it gets real if you ever want to achieve your purpose if you ever want to meet goals and maintain them then we have to, and I know have to is such a strong terminology, mature. And we have to get some grounding up under ourselves. And we have to stop being tossed to and fro with every wind and doctrine. But get some stability under ourselves. You will always hear me tell you, life is here. Life shows up whether we show up or not. Do you know that? Every day, life redeems itself by showing up. It is forever present. And life has so many opportunities to offer. That's why I keep showing up. But you are the gift. You hold the talent. It is what's inside of you that makes life better. That makes life worth living. And we have our get real moments. We have our what I call come to Jesus moments, which are reality checks. The reality check will always start with the individual not with others. It starts with self-evaluation. It starts with finding out exactly where you are. No one should come along and tell you where you are. You know where you are. You know what you're hiding from. You know your weaknesses. And you know your strengths. Does it get real? Does it become sometimes hard? Do you get frustrated at times? Absolutely, yes. But what is it that you are working towards? What is it that you want to do? I tell you, when you have those moments that it is real, I'm talking like really real, gird yourself. Make sure that you are planted on solid foundation. You are equipped to do What's going on in your heart? There are no pity parties. They're going to have, you're going to have some days that guess what? There is no one there to hold your hand. Hold your own hand because it gets real. What is it that you want to accomplish? Hope. Have faith. Faith is real. It is real. 
have faith in something. First of all, have faith. You have to believe that you can do what it is you were called to do. Take time to study to show yourself approved. And put in the hard work. Because that is what it is going to take. Now over, and I always give you scripture text here. Because I make sure that I line up with what the scripture says. And I bring practicality to it. So that you can actually see it in your everyday life. It's not far away. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So what are you hoping for? That's what faith is. Faith. Scripture says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of the things not seen. So in your faith, exactly what are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? What are you hoping for? Are you hoping that your purpose, your goal and dream will manifest, that it will materialize? What is it that you are looking for? When I look at the dictionary term of faith, it says complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Also, it says strong belief in God or in the doctrines of religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. You just believe. Believe in what you were called to do. Believe that the very work that you are about to do, that you, many of you are already doing, that it is improving the lives of others, that what you do is benefiting the lives of others. I often take a look at those who deal with care, whether it is child care, elderly care. When I look at child care, I look at individuals who have the opportunity to help shape and care for the next generation. Oh, I can take a step further and look at those who, uh, your OBGYNs and those who take care of the, the mothers who are about to give birth. They, they see them through the conception process, the, the pregnancy and they are the ones to, to assist in bringing that new life into this world. That's an awesome job. But to be one who, who takes care of, to shape and mold that mind. You have to believe in what you're doing. So I, what I want to say to you today is do not take your gifts and your talents lightly. I want you to take a look at what it is that you do. Now there's a difference between being arrogant and being confident. We are all a part of a body. Many members, but one body. Now for those of us who are believers of Christ Jesus and of the Father. We are part of a holy body. But yet we are all are a part of the body of life. And we have a part to play. We have a portion to contribute to life. Once again, whether I show up, life shows up. Whether I show up to participate or not, life happens. But ask yourself, what do I have to contribute to life? 
what portion do I have to give to life? What is your portion? Now, if I decide not to participate in life, it does not mean that life will not happen because life happens anyway. The time on the clock ticks. Whether I decide to do anything in that time frame or not, life happens and it gets real. So I can either participate in life, I can contribute to life, or I can complain about life. So am I going to help or hinder life? Here's where you have faith. Have faith and believe in a strong belief, complete trust and confidence. Before you can have that in anyone else, listen, you must have strong confidence, complete trust in yourself, in the abilities given unto you. That what you contribute to life makes a difference, and it does. But if you don't believe in what you're doing, if you don't trust yourself to handle in contributing to life, it will have no benefit. Oftentimes we wonder why uh, we cannot reach a certain audience. It's because our confidence isn't there to believe in what we're actually doing. It's a process. It's a building process. And I am a firm believer before we are allowed to release into life, <laughs> we're the first partaker. What difference has it made in your life? Are you inspired by what you do? Did you see any life-changing aspects going on within yourself? Prime example, when I did my first book, and it is entitled Words, Thoughts, and Inspirations, I had a come-to-Jesus moment. I had a reality check. I had a it-gets-real moment. Because I had to learn that I could not write and live two different ways. It just didn't match. It just didn't add up. It wasn't going to work. I could not write daily words of encouragement, inspiration, telling individuals the process of uh, you have to crawl before you walk before you run if I was not going to walk that same path and so one day it's like I had a ah moment I had a get real moment that says you know what you must line up with the words that you share because it did not match it didn't go together it gets real If you are one who uh, you are in the capacity of teaching and there are so many different areas and genres of teaching. But if you're not one in a position to learn, then how can you actually teach? Are we actually taking the principles that we teach? Do we apply them to ourselves? Is, is that the way that we live? Is that the way that we walk? I've always been taught that you cannot teach above your experience or your knowledge so if I'm not going to live it then I can't share it that's just me I, I, I had to get to that point now I am quite sure that there are many upon the earth that uh, are motivational speakers and uh, they motivate but yet they are not motivated themselves does that make sense they motivate others but they have no motivation they talk a good game, but when the mic is turned off, when the lights are dimmed and there is no podium to stand behind, they're in a place of depression and defeat. 
it gets real. And so if you are one that you encourage people, if you are a builder, I always love to take a look at the architect. You draw the plans, you create the plans, you present the plans, and then one day that plan is manifested, it shows up. That's what happens in our lives. Tap into your creative side. Are you living according to what you are putting out there in life? It's the old tale I remember in my younger, younger years. It was always something so funny. They said that you can tell a beautician because she often took care of the hair of others, but not her own. I took that as advice for myself. That day that I had that get real moment to say, wait a minute. You're not living and walking as you are writing. It doesn't match up. You are a full representation of what you put out there. I'm also always inspired by Nehemiah from the Old Testament. I'm inspired by him because until he could get behind the wall, he could not fully access the problem. It's the same way with us today. It's, it's time to get real. Become one with your dream and your vision. That's the way to make it manifest. When you become one with the dream and the vision, you live it, you walk it, you talk it, you breathe it. You are the vision. Remember, life is the opportunity for your vision. Life is the opportunity for your dreams, for your purpose and your goals. Yesterday, we share with you a affirmation. Today, I want to tell you it gets real. Every day is real. You're not living in some fairy tale land. Life is real. Faith is real. We can hope for something all we want to. You can hope that things get better. You can hope that that book gets written. You can hope that that business gets started, that that ministry grows and expands. You can hope all of those things. But if you do not put any action behind it, it's just still sitting there as hope. So, in fact, faith is also an action word. Faith makes me, it helps me move towards what I hope for. It's just like looking at your bed and saying, I hope it gets made. Well, guess what? If you don't go over there and make it up, or if someone else doesn't make it up for you, then you're still hoping it is not going to happen. My job today is to come and to move you along the path of your journey. Take those dreams off of the shelf. Take them from just hoping and begin to move towards making them a reality. You've been thinking about what you want to do. You've been thinking about that idea for a very long time. And, and it's still sitting there. And you're yet hoping. You're wishing for it. You can see it. You can hear it. But you didn't do anything else. It gets real. 
it is going to take something on your part for it to manifest. Faith is action. Faith works. Because as you are working on that project, you're hoping. Faith needs something to do. Mm -hmm. It needs something to do. I hope that this works. I have faith that it's going to work out. What is that it? What is it that you want to work out? It is something that has been put together. It, it has been developed. It has a purpose. A faith needs something to do. Your faith is sitting idle and it's saying, listen, I know you have the dream. I know you have the vision. I know you have the idea, but I want to get to work. I need something to do. Materialize me. Put me together. Develop me. Perfect me. Grow me. Present me. Believe in what you do. So what is faith? Where is your faith? What is it that you believe in? If you're just tuning in, you're tuning in to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson. And I thank each and every one of you for joining us on today. I am excited we're growing, we're living, we're progressing. I know that your life is changing and it is shifting and the creativity is flowing. You have a vision, you have a purpose, you have a plan. And every day you show up. See, the thing about life is we have to show up for it. At the end of your day, do you ever review your day to say, what did I actually do? What did I actually accomplish? What did I do in life today? Because life happened. Things happened in life. And if I take a good reality check on what I contributed to life, some of us will say, I didn't do anything in life today. I just lived. You didn't contribute anything. You just got up and you went through the ritual of the day. But your dream, your your vision, your purpose is still sitting there. It wasn't touched. And then you have tomorrow. And your dream is still sitting there. The vision is still sitting there untouched untapped life is deprived because you didn't offer your vision you didn't put a, you didn't give any input to life and i want you to come out of that place of stagnation and i want you to begin to give back to life. So oftentimes we sit at the feet of our elders and we hear them say, I wanted to do this. I wanted to do that. Sometimes we think that an opportunity will come around again and we miss those grand opportunities. I don't want you to miss that opportunity for that vision that's inside of you. Recognize genuine opportunities and go for it. That's what faith is all about. Stepping out in faith. Take a chance. 
but believe in what you have to offer. Grow your confidence. Do you not know that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind? Fear comes along to cripple your faith. Fear comes along to, to, to stop you in your tracks of not pursuing the gifts and talents that are inside of you. That's what fear does. Fear will keep you in a room when you can actually own the room. Fear can tell you don't come outside of this dark place. But I want you to overcome your fear. Have a conversation and say you no longer have any hold on me. We're giving life that we may live it more abundantly. But fear will keep you in the shadows. And fear will keep you undeveloped. Fear will kill your faith. Fear will block your hope. And so you have to destroy fear. So don't be scared. Fear will also tell you that you will fail before you even tried. That's how fear keeps many in a room. And they will not contribute to life. And so today I want you to overcome fear. Step out in faith. Have some confidence in your ability. Believe in what's inside of you. Take your time with the work that you have. Cultivate it, develop it before you present it. And have confidence and say, mm, I know that's good. Have confidence in what you do. Give it your best. Shut the mouth of fear. Do not keep company with fear. Do not entertain fear. Because if you entertain fear, fear will take over. Fear will cripple you. And guess what? You can pass fear to the next generation. Do you not know that? That you can pass fear to your children? Where they can see the potential in you? Do you have you ever heard someone say, you have great potential? But fear has told you not to express that potential. I came by to tell you to kick fear out. There are certain things that you want to achieve in life and, and you want to do better for yourself and for your family, for your community. And so that get real, it gets real. That means that you have to shut the door on fear. And you have to say thank you life for this grand opportunity. Here is my portion. There is more to you than you realize. I believe in it. I know it's there. I want you to begin to believe in it as well. Step out in faith. Faith is strong confidence. Complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Let it be in you. You can do it. I know that you can. I know that you can. Don't forget to connect with us via our social media, Facebook, The Balance of Life. And if you are looking for a mentor, please feel free to connect with us. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. If you're looking for a mentor to get you to the next level, we are here to help you. Have a great day, everyone. Stay encouraged, encouraging others along the way. Have a blessed afternoon.